We're on England's Gulf Coast. We are at a wonderful hillside, this uh, classic link style layout, and you're going to enjoy this one. Day one of the Kazoo Classic. Already three under par. What a shot from Du Boisson. For a birdie to go five under within two. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, he dropped a shot at the sixth, but otherwise it's been excellent work from Waring, who got his one and only victory in Scandinavia. This was how Pepperell got to four under. Is uh, third into the par five seventeenth. The low slider chasing up the green. Oh, oh what a read! <laughs> what a beauty from Pepperell. It's always an eagle. <laughs> it never looked like anything else, did it? I mean. <laughs> Mr. the fairway, that. hack it out. This is, looks a little interesting. This is one you don't practice very often. Podrag does. He practices all these sort of things till darkness. Third shot Brilliant. for wearing. Go on! Oh, hard in trick. Yeah, all of a sudden, it's all kicked off. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, for well. a half. Call oh, these boys are good, aren't they? <laughs> Round you come. Oh. Thoroughly deserved. Oh. It's a Kapiorn Ollison finish. Eagle birdie. Home in 30, 63. That'll be a special moment for him doing it in his home hometown. Yeah, good point. Pretty cool. That's with a drop shot in there as well. That came at the sixth hole. So he's tied Matthew Jordan. Matthew Jordan who shot 63 back in 2019. Good second shot from Ellison to here from the right rough. Now taking it on. Can he dance it? Oh, he can. Oh, oh, yeah, oh can he? It. What a call, Johnny Morgan. They're holding them from everywhere. We've just seen a bunker shot go in. We've seen a hold. Well, it was probably about five iron for Eddie Pepper, more than more than that. And now he's rolled this in. I bet we have another look at that. Start with all in all, Dom. I think the leaderboard looks pretty good. Yes, indeed, some excellent scoring without too much in the way of breeze. That pretty much explains it. So it's England one and two on day one of the Kazoo Classic at Wonderful Hillside. Third shot, it's a par five. This one. Oh, you can see how solid the ground was there. This should have some stuff on it. Beautifully played. Good chance there to have uh, four birdies in his first five holes. Looks like he's just going outside right. I feel like he wants him to stay pretty straight though. He's just dragged the putter straight across his line. Yes. I tell you what, he was right, I was wrong. Well, there's a first. Whistle it past Ramsey's ball, Marker. Oh, thank you very much. Back to back bird is it's that easy. Two under through the first seven for Forrest. Moves to eight under now. Front of the green here at the 11th for Matthew Southgate. Outside chance here with a putter for an eagle. Giving that a bit of a, a bit of a hit. That's excellent for pace. And line. Oh, get in there. Matthew Southgate, you'd love that one. Well, not just up to fifth now at seven under par. Three players on seven seven under. He loves the links golf, doesn't he, Matthew? Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> Dan talk for a birdie here at the sixth. Is to get into double figures. Is to get closer to wearing. It's just got to hang on. Oh, it has. Well done. He's used that branded iron well, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Yeah. 
goes to show the value of, of getting a bit of confidence behind you on any tour. It doesn't matter where it is. Absolutely. Win to win. Top 10 to top 10s. 69 also for him, and he's at nine under par. But here's our leader, Paul Waring. Splendid course record equaling 63 on day one. He has followed that up with a two under par round in the slightly trickier morning conditions today. And he will take a two shot lead heading into the weekend. Trying to win for the second time on the DP World Tour. There it is for you. It is England from France, Scotland and Sweden as we head into the weekend of the Kazoo Classic at Hillside. See if he can uh, get the pace here at number two for us and get his birdie. He'll be feeling right over this because it, that was a good six, seven footer he hold on the last. So he won't be negative at all. Round you come, round you come. There you go. Oh. This is that one on the first. You're not going to hold that, are you? No, all is given three within the bunker. Perfect play, wasn't it? Now. Yeah. Going to go to 17 with McIntyre. These guys are pulling each other along today. They're same score. Yeah, good memories for McIntyre. An amazing finish when he went on to win here. Oh, oh. there you go. What about that? So McIntyre, the bird is at 16, a tough par three, and 17. Slow putt up the hill for Grant Forrest here at the 10th. That's not bad. Better than that. What a way to start the back nine. So Forrest goes under par again. Well, he goes straight at this pin. He has to take on that bunker. Like his man said, Alex. Red light is slightly selected. Will feed to the right, so that's the play. I feel. Very good shot. Better than that. There's the three. <laughs> well, up all putt here, a little drift off the left hand side for Gary. Good chance of birdie. What a putt that is from Gary. Start with a drop shot of the first. But he's really on a run now. Look at that, four birdies from there. He's looking really good. Wearing and this birdie putt. Well, he needs this one done. Let's get him back in the double digits. I don't see a lot of movement in this one. Piped it straight down the flag. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Oh. Needs it and gets it as well. That is a really important part, a really important birdie for Paul Wearing. He's gone through all sorts of struggles over the last few holes. Finish your round. That was going in at pace as well, wasn't it? He meant that one. So a bogey at 17, a birdie at 18, and Dan Torp two off the lead. Sounds like he's just raining again. Randy, come. Oh, it was not as much right to left as he thought. That's a shame. That second uh, drop shot of the day for him. He bogeyed the first and he bogeyed the last. Threw five birdies in in the middle. Round of 69, but he goes into the last round instead of being a couple ahead, he's just the one ahead now. Well, who's it going to be? It uh, promises to be a right old battle out there. Not quite sure what the breeze will do, but if there is some, it's going to be fascinating. Long lengthy number and the wind has switched. It's now southwesterly wind, not just the south wind, but causing havoc for the players. Now from downtown. Oh, take that. Maybe my name is on the trophy. It's the first birdie today for Julian Guerrier, who extends his lead to two. And a par five next up as well, all smiles. Keeping that, yeah who has just birdied the 11th and the 12th. Here he is at 13. Shot that is. Marcus could be the one to just post that number. Yeah, nice. 
Well, 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 his love affair with this course at Hillside continues. So he's five under today. Start of the day, five shots behind. Saving graces, you've got one of the most lofted clubs in the bag. You can go full tilt, generate loads of spin. The barrel definitely a little bit left. Leave yourself an uphiller. Go. Like it hit the pin now, I'm quite sure what happened there. Maybe just outside the hole on the right hand side here from Richie Ramsey he deserves a birdie after that second shot. Yes. Finally, first birdie of the day for Richie Ramsey. And he's off and running, gets to 12 under. Only two back and still 10 holes to go. see a lot in it I really don't it's got three written all over it doesn't it yeah I think so oh, well, would you believe it? oh that's an outrageous birdie from Julian Garrier he goes to the turn in three under par and he moves three clear of the rest oh that was massive Right here from 59 yards, Boxy, and this is a smart move. Pins tucked over on that left hand side, just beyond the bunker. Oh, look at me, he's just looking at that, thinking. Mm. Makes the birdie. So Ramsey to 12 under par, and now he's only two back. It's okay, Ramsey. For birdie at 15. Oh, he's got another one. Ten in a row for Ramsey. So he moves to 13 under par. Gary A still has, what, six, seven feet or so for his par there. Could see another change here at the top. Oh, he pushed it. It is all tied up at the top. Guerrier drops to 13 under, Ramsey rises to the same number. <laughs> Chance that was... It's going to be a birdie, he's going to put him tied for the lead. Three at 13 under. He's got the 18th to play. Hitting the putt. He knows this course so well. So it is a par, and he now sets the target in the clubhouse at 13 under. And will it be enough? We shall see. Good crowd, you can hear a pin drop. Oh, difficult to judge, you know, he's under a massive amount of pressure and difficult to judge. That's quite a, a steep slope. It looks a lot flatter on TV. Just a few months since the Belfry and the happenings there. And after the pain of the Belfry and that horrid finish in the Betfred British Masters, it is pure pleasure for Richie Ramsey here at Hillside. He steps up, it's a clutch putt. And he's won it by one, and Olivia is bringing home the trophy. What a finish here at Hillside, which has also been a star of the show. Wonderful, wonderful links course. 
And a wonderful final round of the Kazoo Classic. Thank you very much. Next. <laughs> That's Olivia's. She love that. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.